Eve. I've been waiting. It's like I thought. It was you. Adam. Why is it Adam here? I know this is a disappointment. I'm sorry, Eve. Everything that has happened until now, and even before, it began with me. I am the source of it all. Adam. Or would you prefer I call you Elder? What are you scheming? You pretended to rescue me. Pretended to help me on my mission. All under the guise of helping Zion. What are you really after? I want atonement. I want forgiveness. I want us to heal. Please know that everything I have done, I have done sincerely. Enough of this nonsense! My comrades, the people of Zion who trusted you, tell me why they had to die! Eve, you... You have every right to be mad, I understand. Elden Atiba, you... Please, listen to me, Eve. First, I'm sorry for what happened between you and Raven. In the end, she had her own motives, and that way she was a lot like Oracle. As you've discovered, you were created by the surviving humans, to look and act like them. And us? We're nothing but monsters. Right from the start, we struggled to coexist. Of course we did. Because we Natibas were weak. We were not yet mature enough to fully accept your kind. This foolishness resulted in tragedy. In the end, we gave up our humanity in order to survive. Earth is too small for both our species to coexist. However, even if all the Natibas disappear, it's impossible for your kind to succeed the human race. After all, you were created entirely from scratch, with no human DNA at all. And what is it you're going to do? You think you're the one to end this? Gruesome slaughter. Yes. I've been researching for decades to find a way. A way for us all to become the inheritors of the human race. An Andro Eidos, with the most advanced unisonous hyperbody ever seen, and the ultimate Natiba that has not succumbed to its hostile instincts. These are the two necessary ingredients. You mean? Yes. You and I. We are what is needed. Eve, I offer you one last deal. Let us become whole. One being. A single, evolved human species. If we fuse together, we can truly become the seeds of a new human race. That, that's insane! There's no point in listening to this, Eve! At this rate, Mother Sphere will do the same thing over and over again. I wouldn't be surprised if she even destroyed the colony, and thereby Earth. 
As you know, she will not stop. But this is not the path that humans should take. But there's no proof that this fusion is the right path to take. Especially considering everything you've done. You're right, Lily. However, my wish to save the new humans and surviving humans was... is... sincere. As unbelievable as it may be. Lily, take this. But this is... This is the last hypercell needed to rebuild Zion. Zion can be saved no matter what choice Eve makes. It would mean so much if you could do this for me. Eve, your mission is to eliminate me. If you fuse with me, the Elder Natiba, as you know it, will cease to exist. Forever. Is there any better way to complete your mission? Eve. Take my hand. I can save you. We can save each other. We can save everyone. of our existence is to eliminate the Elder Naitiba and save mankind. Naitiba, or Androados, is one more human than the other? If an entire species is wiped out so that another may remain, can we really call that salvation? But... but... If there is a way to save both species, I want to follow that path to the end. That's all I want. Yes, so do I. We're like mirrors to each other. Your choice may not bring about peace and stability right away, but our union will create the greatest chance for a peaceful future now. Yes. Are you Eve? Yes. Well, it's hard to describe, but... Lily, I am the Eve you remember. 
I was worried that you would become someone I didn't know. Lily. Connection to the colony. Sending protocol. Sensing from native signals nearby. Switching to combat mode. Right. Eve, I thought I'd be left alone. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm still not used to the new look. Still, I'll get used to it one day, right? Yes, Lily. I'm sure you will. Oh, too many things happened today. Yes. And even more awaits us. Let's return to the Tetrapod. Reflecting on satellites. Predicting the future. It's like trying to find one single star in the endless sky. I serve the future of mankind. Though whether that future would embrace me, I cannot say. But, for the sake of Father, I refuse to give up. The one who gave birth to me, taught me, the one who's no more. Yes, I must confirm if you are, in fact, that future. Mother, Sphere. Nice to meet you, Eve and Lily. You have more then met my expectations. The final decision was a bit disappointing, yes. But, thank you. What are you... What are you talking about? This concludes the EVE protocol. Farewell. Wait!
wait. We have questions. Stay back. So this is your plan. Then I'll gladly play my part. Now. Starry night, predicting the future is like reaching for the stars themselves. Darkness everywhere, 
guided only by a distant light. And what that light may be, I wish I could tell you. Perhaps strange new beings will emerge and be hastened deeper into the unknown. That being said, I will always serve the future. Even if the future does not align with what is expected. M Mother Sphere? Nice to meet you, Eve. Well done. You've more than met my expectations. The final decision was a bit disappointing, yes, but... Still, I thank you. Enough of this nonsense! This now concludes the Eve Protocol. You can't just spit out words and end things like this! Then, farewell. Wait! your plan. Then I'll gladly play my part. I swear we'll meet again. Sorry. I can't accept this. <sighs> Eve. No matter how much blood has stained Mother Sphere's hands, and no matter how heavy your burden is to save the surviving humans, I don't want to be controlled by those things anymore. I want to make my own decisions, as nobody else but myself. All decisions. Even the decision to bring you down. All right. This is also very like you. I understand, Eve. However... I still have things worth protecting.
Eva. I wish you well. Adam, Eve isn't alone this time. Lily, please, stay out of this. Ha! <laughs> you wish! I'm a monster. I'm sorry. Uh, Eve. With this, the history of humans is over. Your will, your actions, your decisions. I just hope that everyone is guided in the right direction.
a starry night. Reading the future is like mapping out the night sky. And sometimes you catch a glimpse of a shooting star falling towards Earth. Yes, seeing the future is just like that. I fully respect your decision, Eve, even if it is a bittersweet one. I will be waiting for you, and I will be watching. Mother Sphere. Is it done? Is it finally over? Yes, it is, Eve and Lily. It is time to go home. things to do. First, let's pay Mother Sphere a visit. We have a few questions for her, remember? I can see the colony! Oh, but...
you.